Stronka skins for free.eu To jest stronka, gdzie możesz odebrać łącznie więcej niż 15 dolarów ze wszystkich stronek. Robicie to poprzez klikanie loga stronki, wpisywanie kodziku, no i macie darmowe pieniądze na stronce. Stronka również posiada giveaway na 4 razy Bayonet M9 Crimson Web. Zwiększacie swoją szansę wygranej, jeśli wykonacie te wszystkie zadania. Link do strony w opisie. And now there's a chance we're both just wrong. Uh, and yeah, I can't say it hasn't happened before. So no, it has happened a lot before this period. Here we go. SK. Already Neo able to find that first. Cold Zero has hit the deck, and that's an early frag for VP. Well, SK Gaming, a team that I do have a lot of respect for, but seeing how they kind of deflated during that last map and with the troubles they have had on Inferno on that B bomb site. I'm thinking this could go VP's way, but as mentioned before, these two teams are both incredibly talented at the game. So a high chance, in my opinion, that this could go all the way. Phelps alone and Banana. Misses the first shot, second play at Coffins, ready. But VP aren't just pushing in just yet. Two smokes, two flashbangs. Are gonna be utilized. SK playing 2-2. Two, two. two players on A, two players on B. Phelps and Ferb on that B bomb side. Fallen is rotating now, so Unless they go in right now, VP, they're going to be facing a three-player stack on this B bomb side instead of just two. Yeah, they're going to go rushing through that smoke. Fur here has to step up massively. Phelps going to be in the back of sight to help out. Takes one. They have the crossfire set up. Phelps is tapping away. Makes it two. Going to be looking for a little bit more here. Fallen comes in. And now Snacks knife out. Phelps takes it. Three frags for him. Including the knife, that means SK, they can go to pick themselves up an orb here if they would like. Kind of feel like they waited a bit too long there, Virtus Pro. They pushed, fell back into the bomb side there, and then they used, I guess, 20 seconds to set up the utility for that push. And that allowed Fallen to come in as that third member. You, you saw both players on, um, on SK Gaming who were relatively holding one at first box and one at coffins. And then they rotated it into the back of site because they knew that Fallen was going to be in CT or towards where the generator used to be. And, uh, and hold that angle and just change the entire setup. I think VP could have had a bigger chance coming in just against two players. And, and what will happen? That did not happen. And now, pistols from VP. But we have seen them on these pistols in these kind of rounds where they buy some utility armor. CZ 75 speed 50s. We have seen them do loads of damage so this is not an easy round by a long shot here sk gaming not in cruise control just yet sk gonna be holding mid here flash and smoke on over uh, smoke goes down rocking off pit falling Gonna be holding long actually throws out that molotov they're just gonna be rushing on pass now into the site falling does find good damage with the ump and that smoke slightly missed its mark. VP now trapped over on short flash through. Colterra can't see anything, but he hasn't fired shots off. They don't know that he's there. Now he emerges from the woodwork. Taco still doing damage in from pit. On the site, Fallen able to take a little bit more punishment before Snacks finds him. And now it is just Pasha left. He's grabbed himself an M4. But in the 1v3, might just look instead to try and save this. 30 seconds to go, doesn't have the bomb. Very hard challenge for him, even though it is Pasha. Probably just gonna see if someone decides to run into his crosshair, take an exit frag, and then rotate away. They have purchased down in this round here. VP spending all their cash. So next round is definitely not gonna be a buy, as we usually see in these games. The Pasha will bring the info into the next one. As SK Gaming go up 2 to nothing. 3 UMP45 saved on that CT side. And let's see. We might actually. Hmm, let's see, Phelps. Will he go for the MP9? Or the Max 7? Or will he just go straight for the upgrade onto the M4? I think there's a UMP45 drop in. So it will be 3 SMGs, 2 M4s for SK. 1 Catalyst M4 on Pasha. Full eco for the rest of the Virtus Pro. And uh, where's the play going? Neo taking down to 39 HP by that grenade coming off the hand of Phelps. And he's just scouting, trying to find some information. No one's peeking on Banana. More nades going out, but no damage being done. Oh, 
long time we're going to go to roast Neo. He's fallen. Go ahead and smoke the crossover on B. And SK, they're just going to play it safe. Lion wait. Farm's actually pushed up through that smoke down as he has a gap in this one. Snacks can peek on through as the smoke starts to fade. Going to be tagged away. They're trapped on Banana and Cold Zero and Taco could try some aggression here, but they're not going to go ahead and fall into that trap. 45 seconds. There's still plenty of time here for VP to throw a spanner in the works. Still have this chance as Pasha's on the M4. He can go and get that opener for them. If he gets a guy in the sight, Phelps. He's low on HP, his teammate can push in. Let's see how the positions are. Oh, that's perfect positioning for the CTs, and it's just a spray down. Fern Phelps in unison, the B combo makes it work. And now it's time for the buy. BP on that T side. I think Pash is going to be a little strapped for cash. And yeah, he's going to be on that Desert Eagle, but still decent buy on everyone else on the team. Let's see where they can take this kind of a bonus round coming in from SK. Seeing as they have two UMP 45 still in play. Now, Pache here doesn't actually have anything on the side of VP. He's only got himself a D to work with. Rifles across the board for everyone else. He sacrificed the firepower to grab that extra utility. And now for SK. Tackle up here over an apps. Cold, going to be holding short, fallen over at long once again. Same setup that we've seen from these guys time and time again. This time Snacks is straight up through short. Tack able to take one. Cold peeks out from the site, but Snacks does manage to secure the trade. Taco flashed in. There we go. Finally spots Snacks, takes him down. And now an advantage up for SK. BP sent reeling back. Pasha going to try and answer with some aggression here. Decides that is maybe not the right call to make. Has himself an AK to play with. Furley flashed and blind. Tries to fumble around in the open but doesn't get anything done just yet. BP Mol still looking dedicated out here towards A. Yeah, Molotov use is really nice from uh, SK Gaming using it to block off and do damage. Now the push comes in. Gonna be rushing into the site. Taco and Phelps between them find two. Pasha. 1v4. Players just to his left. Here's the reload. Keeps holding the angle. In comes Fallen. And that's weapons picked up. That low investment round from SK yields them another. And now they've got plenty of money on this CT side. Two important rounds. One pistol round. And now this first buy coming in from SK. CT side is looking decent so far. Still early days in this first half, but this was um, when they had a few problems early on in this tournament and in general. Will be, or surely should be, an easier round. Four grenades coming in for VP, but only pistols on the back of it. As they are pushing up towards that banana. Phelps and Fur, double deagle magic. Fur now pushed back, taken out. And actually, double frag coming in, and this is what I was talking about. They're playing this very aggressively. And they do get two frags, but. Eventually shut down with a lot of the bomb plant. Taz on a weapon, and there should be another weapon on that bomb site somewhere. But Pasha and Biali has decided to go into ruins instead and saying position over weaponry. A 2v3 or 3v3 retake for SK Gaming. Taco finds that first. Biali hot on the trade, but now it is just him left. 1v2, defuse coming in. Fallen sits on it. Cold Zara finds the frag. Now SK in with their fifth. Still a great round from EP though. Get the bomb down, get three kills. Time to deny that economy that is building right now for SK Gaming. Hold them a bit back. Still 5k on four of the players. So not diminished by any sense of the word. Full buy coming in from BP. Finally an up on pasture. That's the rest are on AKs. Could still buy everyone apart from Pasha if they lose this one. Also mainly due to the money bonus that they get. Pasha with the ult, forced back by that Molotov. Real will receive, receive a nade as well, taking out to 48 HP. And a three-man stack on Banana. There you go, Pasha. 
finds that first. Going to try and connect in through the wall. Neo opens up with one, but Fallen, he's going to try and make a stand here. And make a stand he shall. He's in with two, make it three. And now it's just snacks left. Has to try and clutch this out as Fallen. He's torn this offensive limb from limb. Snacks has been afforded this position up in CT. Cold has an idea as to something could be going on. Back round, Taco walks into it. He's going to fall down. Now it's the 1v2. Fallen. He's already taken three thus far. He's already been the hero that SK needed in this round. Snacks trying to jump fake. I'll try and use the flash timing, maybe. Yes, a Molotov as well. Thrown out towards Carp. Fallen, definitely sure where the bomb is. Switch to the AK-47. Snacks has to pretty much pre-fire his position in order to get this. Flash comes out. Here's the AK. 31 seconds to go. Secondary smoke comes in. There's no chance, really, unless Snacks comes in and pre-fires perfectly onto Fallen's position. He actually does get the frag double smoke coming in, and in the middle of that, Snacks takes it. 1v1 now against Cold. Does he have time, though? Running back towards that A-bomb site, Cold. He's just, yeah, he's suspectful. He suspects something is up. I mean, yeah, he heard him running off in towards A. There's just enough time on this. Snacks gets that bomb down with milliseconds to spare. But there you go. In comes Cold's error. Saves that one from the clutches of defeat. SK. Oh, sorry. In with their sixth round. I have to say, that round was saved by Fallen. Two initial B players fall down at Banana, and then Fallen just comes in with the old takes down one, takes down two, and goes for a third as well. Almost got the fourth. I felt like he played that one perfectly. It's, it's hard to know in that situation where you have Terry's behind a smoke, he smokes up. If you then push into the middle between the smokes and try and hold that angle, or you rotate back. And that's a 50-50 gamble that time. Of course, Fallen did not choose the right thing, but I think in, in the next attempt, that would have been the right call. Six to nothing for SK, looking quite strong here on the CT side. Definitely fixed some of the issues. And she talked about Fallen's rotation onto that B bomb site. That's worked out. Pasha with one. Phelps once again aggressive play towards Banana, but this time around it works. Picks up two, takes Tars down to 20. And if they play the cards right, SK Gaming could be looking at a seventh round here. Phelps is forced back. He's trying to hold the aggression. Now Molotov going to force him into the clutches of Snacks. Potentially, luckily enough, the Flash does come in. Keeps him alive. VP. Going to pick the bomb up. They're only a man down. Cold Zera and Taco line wait out here towards A. Fallen's rotating in as well. Going to be playing CT. VP stacking up outside the A bomb site. Player down in mid. Two up in apps. Going to try and wrap through Boiler. Looks like the out through short have the support from Snacks over in Apartments. That smoke over towards Long further reinforces that. They get the angle cleared. Fallen starts to rotate in as a result of the smoke going down. Three on three in this site. Take Taco up in Graveyard. He's the man who could put a stop to the madness right now. Has support from Cold Zera in the site. Spot Snacks jumps into pit. Now they know he's here. He only gets one. Cold Zera lies in wait. Gets one. Taz is there to trade though. Fallen from behind though. 1v2, he's got the bomb down, but as you say, Fallen's close. Closing in from behind, Taz has to be flawless here. And he's not, Fallen finds the frag, there we go. SK, 7-0 up right now. This is a wonderful start from SK. Definitely showing that they fixed some of the issues they had before. And this is the right time for VP to take a timeout. Piali coming in with it. And SK up 7 to nothing. In this round, and the money's looking fine for SK. 12k and Cold Syrup. Buying up here. Some of the players, and in that sense, being Taco and, and Fur, missing a bit of cash, but the rest of the players will be able to drop them if they should go one round down. Virtus Pro on the other side of things, I haven't really been able to do much. I haven't been able to punish the small mistakes made by SK. There haven't been many. Uh, VP just, yeah, not looking as strong as uh, as I thought they would. I think uh, many a uh, VP fan at home is probably sharing the same line of thinking right now. 
as we do have round number eight about to come in. If you're just joining us, hello and welcome. This is the third place decider at ESG Mykonos, SK Gaming versus Virtus Pro. We have reached map three, which is Inferno. And the winner takes a third place. Cash prize and a spot at the next ESG Tour. And of course the pride because both of these teams did not want to be in this position. They went for the win. Now they have to go for the consolation game. Consolation game. Binali's pushing in through apps. Taco going to hop down. Fallen's holding short this time with the AWP. Taco is quick. Binali, he's already been beheaded. And advantage up right now for SK. VP, they're just looking dazed and confused in this one. Made out to snack. Small and, uh, sorry, smoke to rain on in after. Where do they go from here? They've lost that man early on. The AX executes haven't been working. Might see them wrap through CT potentially. They managed to get snacks back there before. Alternatively, we could just see a fake out towards A, although they don't really have too much utility to be expelling. They've got four smokes left, so they can't afford to throw one or two here. And as they line it up and throw that in, one gonna fall. And with Snacks this time. Balcony, Taco's holding. Snacks flashes on through. Taco's the wrong way. And there we go. Snacks opens things up. This fake could get sold perfectly here. Time's still ticking away. It's fallen with the aggression up through. Apps that could make such a huge difference. Alternatively, Phelps could be the man to do exactly that. And now it's Snacks. 1v3, isolated over on A. And there's Fallen in that forward position. He gets all the information there, doesn't hear anyone else, knows it is the fake, and that is read perfectly. Yeah. Cold Sierra, before the rush even begins in towards the B bomb side, has already started his rotation towards B. So that means when this push comes in, right now Cold Sierra is getting into CT spawn. We'll take that revenge pack after his teammate go da goes down on the side. And SK getting me up. Eight to nothing. Pistols coming in for VP. And um, Tass is on a single frag. So much experience, but experience doesn't really matter if you can't hit the shots. Taz is surely to bounce back. He has to. Stacked up on Banana. VP. Getting out to throw the smokes and flashes in. Going to try and make this a uh, fast round by the looks of things. Fur waits with that flash. Does hit the mark. Fully blinds four out of the five players. Luckily enough, Snacks does step it up when they need him to. Colts are able to get one more as he holds from CT. They've got a smoke left in reserve. It's Phelps now. Everyone's blind and in the confusion. Taz able to find that frag. Colts error. Rotates in, takes that first timing, going to be perfect here for Taco to strike. And there we go. SK with their ninth. SK are very good at just holding back this VP push, not like letting them pace themselves in towards the bomb site. because as we saw there, they actually managed to, to still hold them away for the bomb site for enough time that Taco could rotate all the way behind, push down through mid, up towards Banana, and do that flash timing, get the two last before they even jump and plant the bomb. So SK Gaming, very good at keeping VP at bay movement wise. Double up set up T side coming in for Snacks and Pasha. Trying the same solution as SK tried last game when things didn't work out. More ops. Always oh, just buy another one. See if it works out. Bit of a desperation move, but at this point, I'm open for anything for VP. Nothing is working for them so far. SK are just taking them to school. Right now, VPA, they are looking stuck for ideas. Fur and Phelps holding off Banana. Pasha, about to peek on into this. Smoke grains in. They hear the smoke. Uh, they hear the uh, scope, sorry. Let's see. Neo still on the back of mid. Waiting for the execute. Fallen opens up. That's Task gone down. Fallen still holding this angle. Flashback. Uh, smoke's come in from Cold Syrup. The SK Gaming side. Push back a little bit, and that's Pasha opening up to Cold Syrup on long. Bomb still dropped in the back of mid. Neo still holding this flank, and that's fruitful for him as he takes down Fur Fallen and Suspect, though. 3v3. 
Goes there, Pasha misses the quick flick in, and that's going to spell disaster. Phelps gets rid of Neo, now it's just Bialy left alive. 25 seconds left. Picks himself up the bomb. Phelps has gone aggressive down through Banana. Taco's fallen back. This A bomb site is free and ripe for the taking, but he has to be cautious. Phelps is going to be hot on his heels. Will be afforded this bomb plant. Bialy. Okay, go ahead and get that down. Times of the essence. Taco and Phelps rushing in here. Taco pushing out from long. Smoke reigns in to keep him away. Bialy actually could take the fight, and if the timing allows it, Phelps could easily go down. That nice shot rally forward. Phelps holding the angle. Good night, Bialy. And there we go. SK on to their 10th. Defuse going to come on in. Plenty of time left for that. Currently, VP, they haven't won a single round. Taz, bottom of the board, two frags for him. Neo in with four. Pasha and Bialy both at five, and Snacks on six. When we look over at SK, top of the board is Phelps. He's on 16. Once again, he's been kind of one of these players who has been stepping up for them, even when the rest of the team yes. have uh, fallen silent. He played lights out on Cobblestone as well. Now he's on 16 to 5. He's on Inferno. He's looking perfect. And SK Gaming in general are looking perfect. Um, it's hard to really analyze what goes wrong for, for VP because it just feels like every single time they try a play, they get, get shot down. It's not like SK Gaming know exactly what they're doing, but the way that they play around it is just perfect. And then, once again, if, if you can't win your duels, one thing is, is getting into an indiv individual 1v1, but if you can't win that 1v1, as a terrorist trying to open up a bomb site, then it's hard to get that entry, it's hard to get that bomb down, it's hard to get into post plant because that's where you usually win rounds as T is when you get that bomb down, when you have three AKs versus three retaking CTs, you can take these positions. That's kind of where you battle towards, but if you can't even get to that point, rounds will be very hard to come by. Molotov, hell on banana, Tass goes oh, down to oh, 22 HP. I'm scared from there. Yeah. Me too. Fallen. Holding over here in apartments has to be cautious because Bialy lies in wait. Down goes Taco. Fallen was meant to be there to trade that, but the smoke means it's proven otherwise. The rest of VP stacked up over on Banana. This time it's Phelps and Fur to try and keep the poles at bay. Missed flashbang from VP. Trying again here. Fur and Phelps both peeking and We'll be taking both Terrace players out. Neo bounces back. He has been decent throughout this best of three, but will be taken out after another miss spray. Bialy 1v3. 45 seconds to go. Doesn't have the bomb. It's under CT control. And uh, this isn't really looking possible. Nah, it's not looking good, is it? Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be in his shoes right now. Three. Legendary players left alive. Cold Terra, Fallen, and Phelps. Couldn't think of anything worse to face off against. 25 seconds as well. Bomb down on Banana. When you take a look at the economy over on the side of EP, it is dwindling. He's just going to probably look to try and save here. No point even tr testing the waters really down on Banana. Especially not with Cold Terra holding it on the AWP. So, uh, SK in with their 11th. Right now, it's a slaughter. I wasn't expecting that this last match to be yeah. this so one-sided. I, I expected... Not the exact opposite of this, but I expect this to be a very close game. And it has not been so far. 11 to nothing, SK Gaming. Uh, playing perfectly here at Inferno. Um, if you were unlike me and Harry before this game, believing in SK, you're probably clapping your hands right now because everything seems to be working out. For the Brazilians, the VP, the Polish army, has not been able to find anything so far on this map. And we have to go back a bit, all the way back to train before we can find something that looked really positive for the Poles. Poles buying this one, Snacks with the MAC-10, utility behind it, the rest of the team, rifles, some armor, a couple of smokes, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, not actually, I'm not actually sure what VP needs to do to come back into this game. Um, it's, it's very hard to build up an argument of how this should actually happen. 
First of all, they just need to win their duels. When they do that, it can kind of start to open up for the executes, flashing and molotoving the orbs out on the CT side called Syria and Fallen, trying to push them back and then move into these post plant positions. And then a chance will be well, existing for VP, but we haven't really made it there yet. Good flash coming in. Fallen taken out of the equation. Fur pushed back onto the bomb side at first boxes. Ah. He's allowed to get that first one. He gets two. He shouldn't be allowed to get anything in that situation. Yeah, overstays is welcome quite a lot. Somehow manages to make it worth as well. Cold is down in CT. Bomb plant going to come through for VP. They're poised to try and take their first round. 3v3 in the retake. Best scenario we've seen them in. Cold Zera wrapping on round through uh, the coffin. Gonna take the peek out. Snacks is quick on the trigger though. It's Cold Zera. Taken out of this retake. Phelps and Taco, all that remain. Time taken away and Snacks solidifies his round. Picks up a second to his name. Taco's there and Snacks is gonna go ahead and go for a little bit more. Taco does manage to find one. Takes the peak close. Make it two. In with the USP. Somehow takes all three. There's no time left. VP will get their first round, but that was an expert display of marksmanship from that man. VP get the first round, and first time they get into these post plant positions. Hero play from Furp, but after that, Bialy's very good together with Pasha to get the two extra shutdown frags. And then, as they get into that B bomb site, they get the bomb down, they get into familiar territory. Your instinct kind of takes over because you know exactly where to place yourself in the post plant position. You can envision the role, like the whole round happening. You know exactly what to do. And that's what VP needed. The only thing they don't need right now is a complete reset. To get completely shut down in this round. If that happens, it's going to be very hard to be on that side right now. It's going to be silence for days in that team's peak. Flash round, Snacks holding it close. Goes in with the peak. But once again, doubles down. He's been so damn good at that. In response, Taz, Bialy, Neo, they're the three that remain. Stacked up outside of B, they've started to rotate in Cold Zera. Fur. In the sight, falls to Bialy. Now they keep pushing in. Cold Zera, the first response, gonna be the first man on the scene. Tries to cause a scene, it will be able to find the first, now fades away. Taz and Bialy. Got to get this bomb down at least. Cold just waits for his teammates now to rotate in. Two kits and Molotovs as well. Flash time, he comes in. Snacks is, or Taz is perfectly ready. But Taco trades it out. Now Bialy 1v2 has to be the hero for VP. No utility whatsoever. He does have armor. CT's pushing in now. Yeah, Bialy left 1v2. Both players coming from the same angle. Tries to play it round. The pillar catches the first underwear. Bialy doubles down and there we go. The triple for him carries VP in with their second round. And just like that, SK, they were up 11 and 0. And now they've got no money left. VP should be in with a third here. Bialy has been the catalyst for VP throughout this match. He has been the, the number one player, in my opinion. Lots of impact frags, clutches as well. Taking rounds in his own hands and making it work. And he will be the man to bring VP on number two. This does force SK Gaming into pistols because some of these last rounds have been decently close. So a chance for VP to come back now. If they grab the last two in the pistol, maybe we'll have a game on our hands. That is what I think everyone apart from the population of a Brazil is hoping for right now. To get a close game here in this decider. Helps already gone down. Furlough on HP with his shotgun. And VP getting closer and closer to that A bomb site. Uh, just four players left out here on uh, the A bombs. Can go ahead and start to rotate the guys on round. Fallen's able to find one. He'll fall immediately, and now it is just fur and cold left, 2v4. At this point, it's probably worth for, for Fur just to save his weapon and bring that shotgun into the next round. Actually, no. They're going to have a buy. Maybe he's going to throw it over to Phelps. 
Let's see how they're going to decide to do things next round. Cold syrup, hoping for some exits, but VP is probably they're probably just going to rotate down through mid. All apartments secure out. Double stack here. They go in for it. They see if they can grab something. The duo here. What can they get? Spots Neo. Uh, that's one weapon they can lock out. Two have gone into library, and that's Neo shutting down the first one called Syrup. Will he get anything? Nope. He won't shut down. And BP on a third. Last round of the first half, Harry BP. They look dreadful in the beginning of this, but have now grabbed three in a row. And that's the thing about VP, you can never count them out. Ah, that's very true. They've kind of got three. They're looking to try and grab a fourth here. When you look at the buy coming in for SK, it's not going to be ideal. Phelps on the UMP. Colzera's only got a smoke behind him. Well, the utility has been fairly pivotal for SK in these rounds that they've won. So I'm going to go a little bit easy on it. On players like Cold Zero and Fallen is going to be too fantastic for them. VP sending four players over here to Banana. Should just be giving this a free as Phelps and Fur play it more passively back within the uh, B bomb site. Going to go ahead and throw a power's utility on in. Clear out sandbags, clear the corner as well. Make sure no one's there. Find a bit more uh, daringly for SK. So the setup we have for VP right now. Four players on Banana. Tass on the opposite side of the map. They have a minute to go. Still time to change plans. As the lineup smokes for CT. So the question is here. Will this be a fake or will this be the rotate? Let's go through mid and go for that A split. Go. Decisions are being made. Um, I think this is the fake. Snacks is rotating back oh, with the bomb. Oh, Phelps, he's touching people in the smoke. Oh, finds one. And uh, oh, we're able to go and get the next. So now just Pasha and Taz. That's Snacks and Pasha there, the two left alive. Snacks able to get one. Pasha does come in with the trade on the taco. And now Phelps and Fur rotating up through mid. Fallen holding this one from library. They say knowledge is power, and he's going to need to. Use that fact in this retake as he tries to come on in. Down goes Pasha. Snacks taps away. Fallen. Still alive and kicking. Frag comes through from Phelps. Fully blind still manages to get it. And there we go, SK. They're going to finish off the half at 12 to 3, meaning a pistol round could lock VP out of this. VP tried to go for the two man banana. Utility fake. It does not work out in the end. Timing was not on their side. and. Phelps was definitely not on their side as well as he grabs a double in that round as we are about to jump into second half of this game. As you mentioned, a pistol round win here could propel SK Gaming to 14. Phelps with 20 frags in the first 15 rounds. Definitely a good game from him. Colsera is still sitting on nine, but positive scoreline, but not the beast we're used to. But there's still a secondary half where he can step up and show us all the magic that we're used to seeing when watching Colsera play. Two flashbangs and a smoke on Fallen. Arm on everyone else. No kit on CT right now. That's what you have Bialy investing into full nades instead. See how this one is going to play out. Focus towards second mid to begin with for SK Gaming. Taco going to be in apartments. The rest of the, the team are going to come up through mid here. Pasha and... Yeah, Pasha is actually the only one right now. But he's far away towards long. One rotating in. That's Bialy coming in from that B-bomb side. And here we go. Pasha first man of all this pissed around. Pivotal here and Snacks and Bialy know that clearly as they get three between them. Holding it from Pitch, Snacks doing some serious damage. Has now fallen and Phelps find themselves 2v2. Neo's already there, but he wishes the shot. That's allowed Phelps to get into Pit from here. He can do some serious damage. Has that crossfire set up with Fallen. Just chipping away at their HP. Fallen holds it off. Phelps finds that frag. And now Neo 1v2 gets into the site. Fallen 
Connects the shot, down he goes. SK, they've won the pistol, and at this point, VP in an awkward position. Do they eco this one out? Eco the next. Try to play for overtime? Do they force by now to the end of the game? I think... Because let's not forget, the winner of this, this is map three in the series. We're one yep. on one, both teams tied up. The winner gets invited back for the next DSG and that prestige of beating an elite team. It kind of felt like VP should have had that one. They have four players on the bomb side, but it doesn't work out anyway. So they go for pistols here. Around a thousand dollars on each member. Helps with the opening. Bayali goes down on the banana. Snacks takes a bit of damage as well. As well. Three man CT stack on B. And Snacks alone in mid. Took a bit of damage in the beginning of the round, as previously mentioned. B250 as well, but fallen in the poison from Brazil. I just winning duels left, right, and center, and with her taking out Snacks, the A bomb side is completely clear. Roll on a welcome mat and just give them the sight. Wrap it with a bow and present it to them. Not going to be much here to be done for me, Pete. Three pistols. Could be brought into the next round. I say definitely not going to buy next round. So the wise choice here is to save. But then again, Harry, that will mean SK Gaming are on 14. Two rounds away from winning, in quotation marks, third place. Oh, Neo's there. First, just going to let him kill his teammate. Finally comes in to save. Bit of friction maybe between Fur and Fallen. You never know. Uh, Phelps could actually get caught off guard. Can I get back for the face? That was risky. Could have gone down with the bomb there. Fur still lies in wait at the back line. Get dispatches of Taz. And now it is just Pasha left. 1v4. Bomb plant comes in. And he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. And the rock being Fur. And the hard place being the rest of SK Gaming on that bomb site. Actually, I don't think Fur knows that he's behind him right now. Pasha might be able to grab an AK. I'm pretty sure Pasha knows where Fur is, so it's just ring around the rosy. And Fur will get it in the end. So BP not able to get anything out of that. Fur with a quad kill. And in this round, I could have brought some pistols into this. Instead, it's going to be four grenades. I'm looking for, or five grenades, looking for the grenade stack here. Let's see how they're going to play this one out. It's definitely not going to be an easy round to win. Looks like they're all going to go into mid. The good old matchmaking strand. Let's all buy an aid. Throw it down towards T-Slope. Yeah, let's see the artillery going to rain in. Eh, finds a bit of damage. Snacks and Bialy still have theirs. A uh, bit late to the party. They managed to get him in. As a result, don't find anything. And now... With, for the most part, just vanilla pistols. You've got Bialy and Neo with that PT-50 and CZ combo, respectively. Ash is going to fall. They're going to try and deploy the boost here, but Phelps something tells me he wins this. There we go. Down goes Neo. He's just going to be mopping up this B-bomb site. Taz desperate to try and find the CZ. Can't. Let's manage to get it eventually. Only has seven rounds left in it. And uh, player wrapping around from behind. Going to be Taco. It's not looking too good for Taz here. There we go, SK Gaming at match and series point, 15 to 3. VP, they have got a buy at least coming into this round. Pasha, gonna have that AWP in hand. Rifles for everyone else, plenty of utility. And this is where we need to see VP make their stand. Of course, they want to be the ones to win out this series and take that third place, as well as the invite to ESG next time. Two MP45s. SK Gaming could have potentially bought up here, but they have so much confidence you're just staying on the UMP 45s. They have a decent economy already. Knows that this is a buy from VP. Looking to add insult to injury. It's Pasha and the boys lacking utility, but they do have that all. Fur going for the wall bang, something we see so much these days. And these T defaults take control over apartments to the wall bang, which this allows Taz to kind of peek out towards apartment because you know that. If you stand in that position, you're just going down. Phelps. Try to get that flashbang timing. Same. Taco. Now Taco knows the position of the close range player. Taz switches things up. Flashbang's raining in. They're taking control of a short A and pushes in. 
Only a rush in at the side pass. He's able to find the first has rubbing barrels with Taco. He's going to fall, but the rest of the guys for SK go down behind him. As Snacks and Neo lock down the side. Pasha as well in with two. A great hold from BP. And that's actually some economic damage done. SK have to rebuy fully across the board. They're going to have enough to do so. Not too much of an issue there. But there you go. VP starting to pave that path to the comeback, perhaps. 11 rounds in a row. Yeah, this is not likely. But in CS, anything can happen. I'm going to wait a few more rounds before I start to get excited. VP, we know they are an elite team. We know they can bring games back from the void. But this one is, seems to be too big of an ask. Let's, not, let's not count our chickens just yet. Pasha has the orb. Phelps is burning away. 68 HP on him. Three-man CT stack. Or three-man B stack. Turns into a two-man B stack of Pasha and CT. As Biala takes down the first one. That's Phelps gone down. The hero so far. Snacks with one onto fur. Bomb still drop at the end of T-slope. And good damage being done here. VP. Poised to take this round. Yeah, falling in cold. Uh, the uh, dynamic duo that remain at 4SK. Yeah, now leaves some shots on over. They have to go back and get that bomb. Look at this, though. We're immediately seeing it right now. Taz going to be taking some aggression in through apps, playing it aggressive. He also has support from Snacks. They lie in wait. They're very far forward. Allows those rotates to come in early from B. Imagine we're going to see Snack Green play a bit more passively, only being 19 HP and fallen. He's aware that this could have happened. Takes the peak. Down goes Taz and fallen. He's able to find that one. Still 20 seconds left. They're not going to try and go for this one. Well, let's be holding on to the AWP and the AK into the next round. VP in with magic number five. They need a little bit more, though. A little bit more magic if they want to pull this one back. Ten rounds left to go. VP, a team that's renowned for their up and downs. It's going to be, have to be one hell of an up, but it's possible. Yeah. Counter -terrorist a lot of grit, a lot of luck. I need, to hit, I need to hit all their shots from now on out. The second a mistake is made, VP will go down because SK Gaming great on capitalizing on enemy mistakes, and surely will happen if VP allow. SK inside. So. Almost decent buy coming in from SK. Taco on a Desert Eagle. The rest of the team, okay. Utility wise as well. Fallen on an orb. Missing a bit on the CT side still. Here we go. SK. Just lying in wait down a mid patch. Just taking some aggression here. The smoke goes deep. Bialy, as per, goes deeper. Now, looks like he might leave Pasha to try and hold this on his own. Usually that's the uh, advantage of having the AWP here. Oh, but Pasha's been flashed, has to get the hell out of there as the UMP start to roar in his direction. Bialy able to find one, fallen instant on the return as they boost it. Oh, Pasha misses that flick, Cold error in with the trade. And now, mad advantage going the way. Of SK Snacks gonna smoke it off, tries to push through, down goes Taco, goes back for more. First been tagged within inches of death, but he lies in wait down in CT. They've got no idea, smoke reigns in. Neo just gonna waltz right past him. Oh First no. allowed to sneak on back, he's worked his way in a CT spawn now. Bomb might be dropped middle of the site, but right now they think they have full control. They have no idea that Fur is here. And he's going to be allowed to walk on in. Fur, this could be massive. Taz, Spidey senses start tingling, and that frag was crucial. Now it's the two on three. And Fallen, going to take the peek in. Man behind pillar, here's the pop flash come out. Spots the back, Snacks is down, and now it's a two on two. Only 12 seconds, they have to be fast here. And over towards Quad Neo lies in wait. Crossfire set up with Taz, the spray comes in. Fallen hits the deck and Cold Zera 1v2, no time left. It will be the round going the way of VP. They hold on to this one, get themselves a sick, and Cold Zera goes down after the time. So this is definitely going to be a, a save coming in. Oh, a pistol round coming in from 
SK Gaming as most of the players sitting around 2.5k. Colts here around $300. So the question is, what do they want to do now? Do they want to play cold on a Deagle for the buy round? That seems to be the case. Something they have done before. Playing that one player on a Desert Eagle and the rest of the team buying fully up. VP still on money. Three rounds in a row, but look at that from Fallen. Ooh. Disgusting. As he takes down Pasha. Great shot from the Basilian in-game leader. I mean, what a way to kickstart this round for SK, but still, it's going to be an uphill battle. But chipped away at mid Phelps. That Molotov has missed. He's allowed to stay here. And Bialy has to be cautious. He's going to start to tag onto him, but Phelps is oh, fast. No. Going to go back for a little bit more. Luckily enough, Neo delivers us from the madness. Still, man, advantage up for SK. Never recovered from losing. Asher early on. Snacks damage done. Gonna be forced back. Plays it around the pillar. Has to isolate these engagements into one on ones. And Burr, he's able to take one more. Snacks really has to step up here. But he only takes one. Neo left 1v3. And uh, not like this, VP. He has to try and clutch. Furs holding short with the orb. It's pivotal that Neo makes this happen. Starts around the corner. Fur wins that duel. And there we go, SK. They will be taking third place. Look at this. That was the frag that kick-started this round on the back of a weekend by SK. They will win out this series. 16-6 on Inferno. Two